Hi, how are you? It's good to see you and uh, be with you here. It's time for another Daily React to Progressive Rock and Progressive Metal. So today's a special edition. I am honoring a request from somebody who sent me this, among other LPs. I caught a couple of Talk Talk LPs, uh, Spirit of Spring or Eden or whatever. Uh, and another one, <laughs> don't remember the name, sorry. And of course, this is Stephen Wilson, uh, Hand Cannot Erase. So really, uh, uh, thank you so much, Eric, for sending that in, Eric Twelker. I think he's in Seattle, and uh, which is just a little south of me. I'm, I'm on Vancouver Island, by the way, in Canada. So we're going to listen to uh, one of his songs he wanted me to check out, a band that I've never heard before. Uh, I briefly looked it up. They're from Boston, I think. Brand new band to me, new song. Let's check it out. Three, two, one, and go. Nice guitar, I like those tellies.
Wow, what a band! They are amazing. I really love this band right away. Uh, I guess it draws the obvious comparison to like Arcade Fire kind of thing because there's a violinist and there's uh, um, it's just sort of that vibe a little bit. But anyways, uh, let me just review this quickly. Um, that bass player, man, was she ever getting into that in the end there, man? Just see her she's slamming with her hand. Uh, the singer's voice, just uh, very, just, it's all there. Everything you need there, right? <laughs> she's got all, all she needs right there. Amazing vo voice. Guitarist looks a little like, uh, looks like uh, Pat Metheny there. Uh, <laughs> I like his guitar. I like those uh, semi-hollow uh, tellies. are great. Nice to have a violinist in the band full-time. That's really cool. I wonder if he plays other instruments besides violin. Usually they do, you know, when they're playing violin. The drummer, I love his drumming. He's got great swish cymbal going on there. Uh, really interesting drumming, how he's drumming. Very confident and wonderful sounding, beautiful sounding drums, actually. Well, well tuned and all that. Oh yeah, and they got a keyboardist there too, and they had this sort of ambient vibe going on here and there. You know, really uh, interesting sections to the song. Obviously, not written like a pop song, and and yet this, the vocals, the vocalist could do pop easily. She's got that sort of modern kind of vocalist sound uh, that's that you hear sort of that. I don't know how to describe it. You know what I mean, though. Probably the songwriting was very passionate and. I would dare say, you know, at the end there, I was really feeling moved. I was feeling moved. This song really moved me. Uh, it really uh, touched me. And I kind of had this uh, um, nostalgic feeling, because I know what it's like to be a band in a room rehearsing. I've done, done, it, I've done it for years, and it hasn't, hasn't happened during the pandemic. My gosh, I miss being in a room together with uh, a band making music. But that's going to happen again. Um, so... So thanks to uh, Eric Twelker again. Thank you so much for, for being so generous and sending me those albums. Anyone, anyone who wants to send me an album, you let me know. <laughs> and I'll, I'll tell you how to do it. I, I love being sent albums. There's a record store in town. You could just uh, call, call them and order it through on your credit card. If you wanted to gift me with an album, I'm not going to turn that away. Love love albums, love LPs. So spiraling out. It's Dean talking to you all later. Bye now.